Not bad. Not bad for an amateur. Okay, so I just gave him a sharpened blade. And uh, he's going to try to unfold it. And if he gets it wrong, we're going to be going to the emergency oh, room for a few stitches. No, oh, it's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> I got it though, I didn't get hurt. A little practice. <laughs> Everybody and welcome back to our channel, Two Brothers Outdoors. So today, not going to do a whole lot of talking and not going to do a whole lot of stopping in between sawing. I'll edit this in a little while and we'll explain to you what we're doing. But we have an order. It's not a big order. We should be able to fill it with one log, but I want to get it knocked out as quickly as possible because wasting time, you can't make any money. So. With that being said, oh, we got a big surprise, a big, a, a, did I say big? Well, this is going to be way after that. <laughs> big surprise coming down the road. Huge. By, by the time you see this video, we will already have um, incorporated this big surprise into our operation. Ooh. All right, guys. So we can make some money here. Let's get sawing. All right, guys, so our order consists of 33 1x3s. And we're going to have to cut this log down into a three-sided cant as quickly as possible and try to come up with as many sections, three inches thick as we can, to cut into 1x3s. This log was taken out of the woods when there was still snow on the ground. And subsequently, there is some stobs left behind from broken branches. We probably should have trimmed it up while it was on the log arch, but we did not. So now I gotta open the uh, guides up a little bit to get around those stobs, but we will get it. I want you to remember back a couple videos ago when Tim cut a couple of flitches that were way too heavy, and he wah 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 made fun of me. Acted like I was a crybaby. Well, today it's payback. Okay, so because we're in a hurry today and trying to get these cut out as quickly as possible, we're going to roll this cant 90 degrees and we are going to proceed on from there. You see that stob, that branch? That's what I had to get around earlier. You can see right there in front of me as I'm trying to adjust the tow board, I literally got a branch hanging off the log right in front of me. What's nice about this mill with 32 inches between the guides possible, I can get around just about anything hanging off this log. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm getting ready to roll the log another 90 degrees again, and that'll give us a flat spot down on the bunks, so we won't have to dog this log down from now on. This will speed things up just a little bit. Okay, so what I'm getting ready to do right now is I'm setting the mill height at nine and a quarter inches. And after I cut this flat spot off of this log, I'm going to bring the mill back, drop it down to three inches, make a cut, come up to six and an eighth, make a cut, and then of course I'll be at nine and a quarter inches at the top. So that'll give me three boards, three inches thick, with live edge on one side. That didn't take long, did it? That mill flies! Okay, so I'm going to roll this 90 degrees all three boards at the same time and then we will dog them down at the bottom but we're going to run into a small problem here in a minute see if you can see what happens At this point, I'm going to raise the mill up and start at my first four quarter increment just under the bark on top. Okay, you can't see it from the camera angle, but the board that's against the log stops in the back, the low log stops, ones that are only like uh, seven eighths of an inch high, there's some weighing on that backboard, and the backboard tipped towards the back of the mill. So it caused it to cut at an angle, but fortunately we still have one more cut on that part before we get to solid wood, but we're going to have to put the larger log stops up to keep that from happening again. Okay, the three inch board that's closest to you and the three inch board that's furthest away from you have both got a substantial amount of weight on it still. So I still can make one more cut on that before we get to solid wood. The center board, which did not move, will start yielding boards right away.
How many does he need? 33. You ain't getting that out of this one. <laughs> we'll try. <laughs> well, we're not going to get it. You know how I know that? Because I'm a Sawyer. Wow. Who knew? I did. I knew. Me. Okay, so I'll drop the dogs and then I'll push the log stops down in the back. I think it's low enough now to the tractor where it'll stay stable with just the uh, dogs against it. We'll make another cut or two and see what we come out with. See how many boards we have. Blades to all too. I don't know how you got a uh, sharpener. How is that? How can that be? I hit dirt early on. Early. How early? What time was that? Probably that one in the middle. Uh, that's probably the only two you're going to get. Might get one in the middle right here. Yep. That's a little bit thicker than the rest of them. Look at that shit. Jerry? Huh? It's thicker than the rest of them. All right. Fencing. It's for fencing. Twenty-six. Oh, man. All right, so we only ended up with twenty-six boards, but fortunately for us, we get like two by fours and stuff like that with a lot of weight on them, and we throw them over in the shed here behind the mill, just in case we need a board or we might be able to make something out of them. And this is one of those times where we're going to take some of these boards with weight on them and turn them into something that we can sell. You got what, 26? Yep. 26 and 4 is 30. That's what you said. 33. You don't listen. You don't remember. Huh? Exactly. Like that over here, I just don't pay attention. That yeah, too. Okay, so this is a little trick we do when we put boards on the mill that's been sitting around for a while. Sometimes they have a tendency to warp or move. So what Tim's going to do is he's going to stand on the boards while I start sawing. And then once I get some board behind the saw, I'll walk down the boards and we will keep them flat on the mill that way. Okay, at this point, all the boards on the bottom are one inch thick. There are a couple of them, I believe, that'll be one inch thick on top. So we'll check out which ones are one inch thick, stand them up, and put the saw at three inches, and cut out some three inch wide boards. That's an inch. 
I'll be able to get off a lot of weight on it. I don't know. Hold on a minute. Let's do this. Uh, take that loose right there. This one's no good. Too, too thin, too thin. So is this one. You don't want to save these? Huh? You don't want to save these? You don't want to save these? Nah, uh, tell me. Let's try. All right, do any of those need to be pushed down? Just secure it, don't lock it real tight. Pick up on, no, let's, hold on, watch, so you know, okay, pick up, pull it down, you don't have to flip it back, okay, well, you better get used to it. So we're gonna make it or not? Hell no, we'll look at that in a second. Oh, that don't look bad. Huh? That one don't look bad. No, it don't look too bad. Thirty-one. We're close. Yeah, those are all long though. We'll just throw that one in. So we got thirty-one. We need two more. Okay, so we're gonna throw a couple more of those scrap boards that we had in the shed on here, and it's the same deal. We can lay them flat, cut them down to one inch, stand them up. Cut them at three inches, and hopefully we'll have enough boards to fulfill this order. You want to make foot, right? Huh? You want to make foot, right? Yeah, we got plenty. We're, we're good. Scrap wood. I know it. That scrap wood comes in handy sometimes. Yeah, I got it. Uh, let's do a quick count, make sure we got it. I think we're one over. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Cool. We're good. 
and that is why we keep our scrap wood sometimes we cut stuff off it's two inches thick and got a lot of weight on one side it's almost four inches but I ask you you want me to hang out there nah well yeah well no go ahead throw it. no I'll keep it we wanted one by threes and that worked out perfect yeah all right excuse me <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for coming along with us tonight. We appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, hit that subscription button, which actually this button doesn't do anything. It just reminds you to hit the button. But at the end, when it comes up with the next video that you should watch, there'll be a Two Brothers Outdoor um, logo. logo. Click on that with your, with your cursor or your finger or whatever, yes. and that'll subscribe you. Thumbs up, guys. You can find that right there. Each and every one of them help our, our channel out tremendously. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Keep them coming in there. Keep them coming strong. Notifications bell. You do not want to miss any of our future videos. And if you do, you can go back to the playlist and watch 10. You were short our playlist down to 10, <laughs> 10 good videos. 10 excellent videos. All right, guys. Thanks for coming along. Until the next one, we will catch you later bye bye now and don't forget to watch our next video because we got something special coming up right here